Hello, folks. I'm Detroit Miracle. Yes, and indeed, I am here to talk more about some major and crucial, essential, vital ingredients within live chess. Yes, even though I say live chess, it is not just a simple game, but live chess covers many areas in life, but also a gaming aspect too. Yeah, so much of life chess pertains to gaming, but at the same time, it doesn't. The doesn't part is where folks do not look at their lives as some type of game being played out. And along with many other lives being played out, which could also be perceived as a game as well. People do not focus on a particular game structure. They they see progress, success, education, morality, decency, traditional family values, and they like to carry on those same trends. And they like those same trends to be carried on after they have departed, if that is the case. But nevertheless, the life chess game goes on in all of its phases. I know some people want to hear some fun gaming stuff, like some more like about they're thinking more about casino gambling in terms of um stage contest and things like that. Yeah, life chess has that life chess in fact exists within the game of chess. The game of chess itself was influenced and inspired by life chess. Those particular pieces on that game board, the movements, the choices, the options, all of that is based on real life characters. Look at the name of the pieces. You have chess pieces called kings, queens, knights, bishops, rooks, pawns. Those identities are from people. Yeah, folks. So life, life chess offers a lot of delights, wonders, incredibles, remarkables. Even if you see it as a game, it does whether you see it as a game or not. But it also offers tragedies, misfortunes, unfortunates, and that sort of thing, which emphasizes the good and the bad or taking either or either at any given time, folks. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Now I'd appreciate it if you would give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to Detroit Miracle. Thank you.